Welcome. Today, we're talking about Wi-Fi interference and how you can optimize your Wi-Fi signal. Let's go. First, let's talk location and distance. The closer your device is to your modem, the stronger the Wi-Fi signal. This is especially important for activities like watching TV or video streaming, which need more speed than sending emails or web surfing. Connecting to the best Wi-Fi frequency can further help maximize your Wi-Fi. Rogers modems come with dual band support, meaning they generate two different Wi-Fi frequencies. Each frequency offers different advantages. The five gigahertz frequency typically offers the best experience. Newer Rogers Wi-Fi modems come with band steering built-in to automatically connect your device to the best available frequency for your activity. For older modems, you can turn on band steering in your modem settings. Or, when available, manually connect your devices to your Wi-Fi network with 5G at the end of its name. Furniture and building materials, like metal, concrete beams, glass or mirrored surfaces between your device and your modem can absorb or reflect your Wi-Fi signal. Try to keep your modem in an open space and off the floor where carpets or dust can also block the vents. Signal interference can also come from electronics, appliances, and wireless devices in your home as well as from your neighbors if you're in close proximity. Again, keeping your modem visible and not hidden behind other electronic devices is best. Finally, keep in mind that your Wi-Fi speed and signal strength will vary depending on the capabilities of the device you're using and the number of devices connected to your home Wi-Fi. Every device online, including those running in the background, share your total internet speed. As your needs grow, it may be time to upgrade your devices and upgrade to an internet package that delivers more total speed for all your devices. That's it. Understanding factors affecting your Wi-Fi can help you get the most out of your internet service from Rogers.